Metamoros, Tamaulipas is a city that's right across from Brownsville, Texas, near the U.S.-Mexico border. The city has long been an area controlled by the Gulf Cartel and factions headed by the Cardenist clan. News has recently emerged from this area of the apparent death of Enrique Kiki Cardenas, a member of the notorious criminal dynasty that's been part of the Gulf Cartel for well over two decades. Kiki Cardenas was the nephew of notorious drug kingpin O.C.L. Cardenas Guillen, the man who headed the Gulf Cartel and laws set us in the late 90s and early 2000s. Local media has reported that Kiki Cardenas was gunned down by a hitman working for his cousin, Jose Alfredo Cardenas, commonly referred to as El Contador. This murder is the latest in the cartel power struggle that's been unfolding in the Matamoros Plaza between two major factions. One is headed by Raul Martinez, commonly referred to as El Loco or Scorpion II, and the other is allegedly headed by Kiki's cousin, Jose Martinez, also known as El Canto Dor. Although not an official Cardenas clan member, Raul El Loco Martinez was a close associate of drug kingpin Antonio Cardenas Guillen. El Loco has managed to gain support of Cardenas clan members Carlos Perez, also known as El Cuate, and Mario Cardenas Medina, also known as El Bebito. Mario El Bebito Medina has been in prison since 2019, but that hasn't stopped him from calling shots as he reportedly continues to support his faction from inside prison. Due to Jose Cardenas feeling that he was not getting his fair share of the power, he decided to split off from the Cardenas clan and form his own faction, becoming a rival to his own cousin, Kiki Cardenas. His multiple arrests thereafter made consolidating his new crew a lot more complicated. During his time in prison he appointed Evaristo Sanchez, commonly referred to as El Vaquero or Cowboy, to head his crew and lead the fight against Raul El Loco Martinez and the rest of the Cardenas clan. Jose was released from prison in October 2020 and has managed to avoid getting arrested again. He is presumed to be the one behind this attack.